Once the base color has dried, we then move on to the three quarter inch flat synthetic mongoose brush and some shadow and ultramarine. Mix the color up, fairly strong. Just gonna darken that a little bit more along the horizon. Like that. Then with the brush, with the flat of the brush, just streak that across like that down to the, um, the headland. Still with that dark color. Start to bring that down and just touch the brush onto the paper, leaving little gaps of the base color underneath. That little scratchy sound sounds like little mock mongoose or mongoose scurrying across the paper. Right, some burnt sienna in with that ultramarine and shadow. A little bit darker through here. Again, leave little gaps of light. Still with shadow, burnt sienna. Same, same, so you get the same colour both sides of the, uh, the painting. Then with a slightly lighter colour, this is um, so cadmium red, cadmium yellow, and start to put in some of these colors into the wet. So just lightly touch the brush onto the paper. You leave these little ripples on the surface. down in the uh, foreground this will be fairly dark as these waves start to come into the shore put a stronger color so this is um, shadow again. So dark into there. So this is just underneath those masked off ripples on the, uh, on the sea. So there's one there. Another one just tucked into there. So a dark line coming in like that. The next one, so as they become closer to you, the gaps become wider.
So darken that a little bit more into there. Then we let the sea dry. Right, this is a tricky bit. If you tear this masking tape off too quick, you run the risk of actually tearing the paper. Just peel back the masking tape. This is so tense. So far, so good. Right the way across. If it goes wrong now, I've got to start again. There we are. Then, with the large detail brush, some burnt sienna with shadow. Paint in the headland with that lighter colour first. more shadow. Bring that down to the water. Touch of cobalt blue to there. Then Bring that up to the top of the headland. Go back to a dark colour. This is burnt sienna and shadow. And bring that darker colour down in front of the headland towards the horizon. So fairly dark. The rock sticking up like that. Into that masking fluid where we have the, the waves breaking on the shoreline. couple of rocks in the foreground. Right, need some tissue. Get rid of the moisture out of the brush. Some raw sienna. Put that over this rock, just on the top half. Small rock there. Wash the brush out. Get rid of the moisture. Some ultramarine and burnt umber. Put that over the top of the rock. Before it dries, with a card, scrape the paint off the top of the rock. Same thing with the smaller rock here. Then we let the whole thing dry before we remove the masking fluid.